Hello there, my name is Ismail, and welcome to another Blender Daily Tip. And we're going to be looking at how to straighten UVs in Blender 2.8. Uh, so this is a uh, model we're going. To, this is the model we're going to be using, and it's part of my uh, 100 asset pack, medieval asset pack that I'm making uh, to sell on CG Trader and Turbo Squid uh, stores. Uh, so if you want to follow along and uh, look and follow the process of making these medieval assets, uh, you can just watch the time lapses on my second channel, Blender Money. Uh, that's where I'll be uploading all the uh, time lapses of making these uh, assets. Uh, maybe you can learn a few things uh, from there. And the complicated things that I think needs to be explaining, I'll be explaining them uh, in videos like this uh, to upload on Top Channel 101. So uh, what we're going to be looking at today is UV unwrapping uh, this asset here and uh, straightening uh, the, uh, the UVs. Uh, so we're not going to unwrap the entire thing, we're just going to uh, I'm just going to show you how to straighten uh, UVs here. So, and uh, the UVs I want to straighten are for this mesh here. So, I will made a duplicate of this so that I don't mess up this. Uh, so, if we look at the UV map for this, uh, I have a few seams in here. And uh, so, I'm just going to clear those so that you can see how the mesh would look. Uh, because this is a curved object in, uh, in our 3D space, uh, you can see how uh, the 3D uh, sorry, the UV space in the UV space is also having curved uh, UVs. Uh, the problem with that is that uh, it's kind of using a lot of UV space uh, inefficiently, and you can see that uh, it's taking up all this UV space. And uh, uh, this space here, uh, this piece here, uh, is not getting efficiently utilized. Uh, so, what we can do, we can straighten this so that it's only taking up uh, maybe a block one block like this uh, yeah so let's see how we can do that so uh, since these are already straight uh, nearly straight I'm just going to uh, select them and uh, remove them delete them and just focus on this part here so let me unwrap this again okay so to straighten this up uh, we need to uh, select to straight first straighten a face and uh, use it as a f as the active face and uh, use the option to uh, when unwrapping uh, follow active chords uh, to kind of straighten that uh, uh, using that as the base face or the reference face to straighten uh, the entire mesh from so uh, you, you need to find a face that is almost straight maybe not, not that is not distorted uh, don't use a face like this. Don't use a face uh, like this. Otherwise, if you select a face like this and use it as uh, your active uh, uh, face, uh, turn on uh, auto UV sync uh, to have uh, to see the face you're selecting in your UV space uh, like this. Let me first turn off uh, this uh, subdivision surface so, so that we can easily see the faces we are selecting. Uh, you can see. Any face I select is, is also selected in the UV space, in the 3D space. So don't select a face like this, uh, because if, we, if you have that as the active uh, selection, and you can tell it's the active selection by how its how is, is shade, how its shade is different from the rest of the shades, and uh, it's also, it also has uh, a highlight around it. Uh, so and now if we UV unwrap this, hit you, and then follow active chords to straighten this a lot, are using this as uh, the reference face. Uh, hit OK. You can see it's just straightening, uh, straightening this. Are uh, using this as the base, as the reference uh, face uh, to straighten this. And you can see it's just get, distorting it even further. Maybe not further, but uh, it's not giving us a completely straight IUV. So we need a, a more straight, uh, a straight. Uh, it's not really straight. Maybe an, a non-distorted uh, face. And uh, if you can't find one, uh, let's first you if you unwrap this again. If you can't find one, you would need to straighten uh, the face yourself. So uh, find something that is not too distorted, like uh, this face here. And uh, you can see it in the UV space. It's not too distorted, so we can start straightening it up in the UV space as well. Uh, so I'll just select these top vertices. Uh, let me turn off our uh, UV sync here for a second. Uh, so I'll select uh, these vertices, straighten them by scaling them in the y-axis by zero, 
or just select the vertices and then right click uh, then align y and then select this and this align x align x uh, there is an option to straighten uh, but uh, for some reason it doesn't work so i'll just switch uh, i just use uh, the align uh, axis so then you can select the face again you can use you can use UV sync just to make sure that uh, uh, you have the same face selected in your uh, 3D space. Uh, after that, make sure you don't have this uh, UV sync selected when you start uh, unwrapping uh, because it will separate this uh, selected face into its own separate UV island and we don't want that. So uh, after we straighten this, you can hit U and then follow active code. And you can see now we have uh, that straightened uh, but uh, the problem is is the problem we are getting now is that uh, yeah yes this is straight and it's taking up less UV space uh, but uh, in terms of texture resolution uh, it's taking up too small uh, very little uh, UV space so this this space here would not be enough to kind of give us a, a high a highly detailed uh, texture for this uh, image here so we need to make to make to scale this up a bit but uh, the problem is when we scale this uh, you, you see that uh, uh, the UV space is starting to the, the UV island is starting to go outside uh, the UV space uh, that is bounded by this uh, box here grid box here uh, so what we can do is uh, <coughs> mark a seam uh, like around here uh, but uh, make sure if you're doing if you're marking a seam here uh, make sure that uh, you don't have live UV unwrap uh, turned on uh, because that will just uh, re-unwrap the entire thing and you'll have to redo uh, the process again so turn off uh, live UV unwrapping and then control E mark a seam, mark a seam and uh, then you can select any of the faces so we know that uh, I've marked a seam right here and I, I'll also turn on UV sync so that I can see uh, the face of, turn, uh, of uh, the seam I've selected. Uh, so I want to select a face, two faces. Uh, so I, I know that uh, since I've marked a seam on this, uh, separating these into the two UV islands, uh, so this will be an island and this will be an island. Let me just show you what I mean here. So since I marked the same here, it has separated this into islands. So <clears throat> let me un undo this because I don't want to redo the uh, straightening again. So now I want to select two faces, one from this island and one from this island, and then pin them uh, so that they retain uh, that straight uh, UV uh, shape and uh, then I can unwrap again uh, so that these are two separate islands and now I can separate, I can straighten, restraighten uh, these UVs uh, using the, the faces that I, I pinned. So pinning just retains uh, the shape, uh, just cut, yeah, it does exactly what it says, it pins uh, the face you have pinned uh, in the UV island so that when you UV unwrap it doesn't change that face and you can see it has retained uh, the straightened uh, face. So we can select this and uh, control L. Uh, let me turn on UV sync so that it doesn't uh, separate this as an island. So control L, uh, make sure you have uh, the straightened face as your active face. I'm sure I do uh, because you can test that in your uh, UV island. And when you have sync on, uh, then control L. And then we can restraighten these with follow active uh, code uh, codes. And now you can see we have a separate island uh, that we can move around and uh, efficiently use uh, the texture space. Uh, so again, have this selected as your active. Uh, have the pinned uh, face as your active uh, active face. Or active quad and then control L to select the entire island and wrap follow active quad 
and you can see now we have uh, those straightened. So then we can move this around. So I'll unpin this, control, uh, Alt P to unpin. Select everything, and now I can uh, move them, maybe scale them down a bit. And I know now this is a, this would be a better usage of the UV space and also while providing uh, enough resolution or enough texture space uh, for this uh, object here to have a good texture resolution. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, again, if you want to follow to see the, the entire process of making this asset and more other medieval assets uh, that I'll be making uh, for for my medieval asset pack, uh, you can just go and subscribe to this second channel and watch uh, the, the time lapses uh, there. Uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.